This salad is a version of the full Irish breakfast and it is so quick and delicious and you can make the lovely dressing that I'm going to show you in a minute ahead. I'm going to show you the poached eggs, very very simple. We're going to use this beautiful black pudding and this is part of the Simply Better collection. So these are mirrors, they're based in County Clare and um, they're absolutely fabulous. They won Small Producer of the Year a couple of years ago. So this is their block. They've been making black and white pudding for over 40 years. So it's kind of like in the shape of a block like that. So this is it here. Uh, I'm just going to literally warm that up. But the first thing I need to do is just to make some lardons or to fry off some lardons. So I'm using the streaky bacon. So we're looking for this board Bia quality mark. So this is the whiskey smoked dry cure Irish tricky rashers. And all I've done is I've cut them into long little strips. So it's what you call a lard on, so it is. So heat the pan. I wanna get them nice and crispy. I'm gonna use a little bit of oil because oil will come out and it'll give it a lovely kind of flavor. And then we'll make a lovely dressing with that. So first of all, when you're poaching an egg, just while I'm waiting for the pan to heat, you don't put salt into the water you put a little splash of vinegar. Now you can use white wine vinegar, but I'm gonna make the dressing with this apple cider vinegar. And these are two beautiful products from Kilkenny, High Bank Orchard. This is a fabulous apple syrup, really, really lovely over ice cream and um, in a salad dressing, which I'm gonna use. I'm gonna caramelize some apple with it and it's excellent. And this is their apple cider vinegar. It's all organic and with the mother in it. So just literally a splash of this. That's really all you need. So what the vinegar does, in the water, it actually holds the egg white together. And that's really important because I want these eggs nice and soft. So pan is nice and hot. And um, good, uh, nice little drizzle of oil. And then um, if you just look, I've just literally cut the bacon into small little strips. So I'm gonna spread that all over the pan there. Gorgeous. So spread them out. You want them nice and crisp. You're probably wondering that's an awful big pan, but I want to warm up because the, um, the black pudding is already cooked. So really all you're doing is warming it up. And if you look at the texture, you can see, you know, the pinhead oatmeal that they use. And it's a, it's a secret um, recipe, so it is, but I got to meet the lovely producers and to see their passion for producing their black and white pudding. They're just fantastic. So we launched that uh, well over a year ago with the Simply Better team. And, uh, you know, I suppose my role is going to visit the producers, like High Bank Orchard, I went down to visit the in Kilkenny, and uh, just, they have passion. They really care about what they do, and I think that's really, really important. So they're showcasing the very best of um, Irish produce in this recipe. So let this kind of get nice and crispy. Okay, so nice big wide pan. Okay, so that's on there. So while that is just kind of frying off, we we'll give it, I have it on a high, full heat, okay? Um, just get that nice and crispy. We'll uh, just prepare our apple, because that's gonna go onto the pan, and then the black uh, pudding. You can use the white pudding if you want, but the black pudding I'm gonna use for this. So I'm using just this Granny Smith apple, but any apple that you want, keep the skin on. And I'm gonna put about three or four pieces. Don't be too particular about this. It really depends on the size of the apple. And we're gonna put this onto the pan, and we're gonna caramelize this them with some of that lovely apple syrup. So that's done there. Uh, I'm using the corn fed eggs. So these are the Irish free range uh, corn fed eggs, okay? So this is it here. Um, so there's 10 in the box there. We're just gonna put them into the water in a moment. And I love eggs and it's one ingredient. If you were to ask me, what's the one ingredient? What's your, one of your favorite ingredients? It has to be eggs. I just think they're so versatile and they're so full of flavor. So I'm trying to get a nice bit of color in this. So keep the pan nice and high. I want it nice and crispy. And then I'm going to keep that pan because there's going to be lots of flavor for the black pudding and then for the apples. And I can move this just all over to the side now. Turn that down. Mm, the smell of that smoky bacon is fabulous. Okay, let's just put our eggs in. I'm going to do two. So crack them just at the side of the pan. Turn this down for a moment. And then just open them out. If you want and you're nervous, you can actually put it into a little bowl or a cup and then empty it in there. But you know, the uh, vinegar is really an important little tip for you. So that's really, really important. Okay, I'm gonna put on my apples now onto the pan and then the pudding. All you're doing is warming this up. So I'm just gonna mix through that lovely bacon. You can see it's getting a little bit crispier. Turn up the um, saucepan with the water. So just get that nice and crispy there. And we get a little bit of color 
and then what we'll do is before I do the dressing we can start to put yeah that's the eggs there thank you Mella brilliant so just plain water no salt a little touch of cider vinegar white wine vinegar if you get this vinegar here the cider vinegar it's a really really lovely product uh, I'll just literally flip over the apples and then what I'll do is put a little bit of the apple syrup just over the apples so they'll caramelize you're probably thinking apple and black pudding is actually a great combination so they, 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 this is the pudding for me this is really the star of the show gorgeous and then that lovely bake and see the way i kind of spread it out so that's why i picked a nice big wide pan and um, now you can grill obviously your streaky rashers and cut them up it doesn't really matter it's the way i do it everyone is different so this is the apple syrup so this is like our irish version of maple syrup really really nice um, over some ice cream over pancakes uh, I've used it in quite a few recipes if you're cooking pork chops and actually with pork chops this little this little garnish here with the with the apples and this syrup is delicious so just drizzle that and that will cook up nicely there I'm gonna switch it off I want to keep the apples and um, I don't want them going mushy and that's why I particularly picked that one there the granny smith because it holds its shape and remember the black pudding is already cooked all you're doing is warming it up so the eggs are on they're cooking up nicely I'm happy with that I'll turn that down now we'll make our little dressing so I'll just move this out of the way and for this dressing we're going to use a bowl obviously a whisk and I'm gonna just show you some of this lovely rapeseed oil from Derry Karma in County Loud so you can use obviously some of the simply better olive oil but I like to keep it as Irish as possible and it's really nice in this dressing so I'm going to use um, two maybe three make extra one two and three so it's usually three to one now this vinegar is quite acidic quite sharp so I'll just do a little bit under one of these here now we are going to put some mustard into it which works really well in this dressing and this dressing that I'm making guys you can make it for any kind of salad so that goes in there a little bit of sweetness just a drizzle of this you don't have to really measure it out roughly about two teaspoonfuls I'd say you love the way I measure measures so that goes in there gonna have a little look at my eggs because I don't want them to overcook that's lovely I'll switch them off and then whole grain mustard so I'm just using some whole grain mustard here literally a teaspoonful and this is going to go into our dressing and then a touch of salt and pepper so a teaspoonful goes in there and this dressing you can make ahead so you usually use three parts oil to one part vinegar okay a little touch of salt and then some black pepper so we'll warm that up in a moment our lovely crispy lardons just get your whisk and combine this all together now you can do this hand blended if you want it what you're doing you're creating what we call an emulsion if you look there you can put in herbs I'm not going to do that I think there's so much lovely flavor and I'll just get a spoon and I'll just show it to you so just getting a spoon see that lovely shine and you can see the whole grain mustard there that's a really nice dressing and I mean like I don't use an awful lot of mustard but I think in a, in a salad it's really important so I'll move that out of the way okay so eggs are poached switched off and um, we'll come back to this in a moment now I'm going to show you some lovely croutons so over here we have the Waterford Bla, which Simply Better just launched recently so Walsh's Bakery so well done to them so these are the small little blas and I'm just going to show you just how to make some croutons so just using the Bla, cutting this and these are lovely like if you saw one of my recipes with the simply better sausages uh, in the blah with the lovely simply better tomato chutney it was so tasty so these are great like for burgers they obviously have the larger blah and remember with the blah from waterford it's the only only region in the world that makes the blah and it can call it the blah so that's very very important to have the pgi logo so that means protected geographical indication so we're going to dice this okay and then you mix it just with a little bit of oil so in the bowl so I have the oven preheated but I already have some croutons done because I wanted this to be nice and quick for you and the croutons are great so just get your hands in there mix this all together and don't be tempted to cut them too small okay a little bit more oil I think and then what I like to do this is parchment paper so guys this is a non-stick silicone paper nothing will stick to it and you spread that out and bake that off in the oven at 190 and then what you do then is you just give it about maybe eight to ten minutes so just move them around and that's what we have there so I literally just tuck them out they're lovely and crunchy beautiful absolutely beautiful okay I'm gonna warm this up then we're gonna serve it up mm. 
that bla is just beautiful so it is so let's just have a little recap smoked bacon lardons they're lovely and crispy but what you want you don't want it too oily so i'm just going to lift this off here mm, i'm still munching away sorry so that's our lovely lardons you have the croutons on the tray just flip over the the lovely black pudding flip over the apples and with the skin on just remove the little kind of core and then we're going to serve this up okay turn everything off so first thing we'll do is we'll just get a plate we'll just get one of the black pudding place it like that and then just using a spoon here we're going to just lift out our egg now so just lift it out and then we're going to place this so we want this nice and soft and that's really important so that sits on there you can put it onto some kitchen paper now some lovely salad so look at this beautiful salad here so we're just going to literally arrange this just around so we have some oak leaf we have a little bit of rocket just some really really nice salad there now you always dress the salad at the last minute so this is our lovely smoked bacon lardons and when they're warm they're lovely they add another different dimension so it's kind of like a warm salad so that's really nice a little bit more salad i think so our apples and then our other little piece of pudding so i'll just literally take this off move this out of the way and we're just going to cut this just into three so it's a really lovely soft pudding if you look at the texture there that's beautiful look at the steam coming from it so just arrange this just on top and of course you can use more, as much as you want to just with the same spoon the lovely little bit of apple which gives lovely acidity done with that really nice high bank orchard apple syrup which is definitely worth getting and then we have our dressing and then croutons and that's it so you always just dress at the last minute so remember we put in whole grain mustard a little bit of the high bank orchard simply better cider vinegar and some of the rapeseed oil touch of salt and pepper and then our croutons and that's it it's really really simple full of flavor full of texture and when you have your nice poached egg there wow there we go so that is a really tasty salad that is my Simply Better Black Pudding, so I'm using the Moore's Black Pudding and they are from County Clare and they're just so passionate about what they do. So I literally pan fry that with the poached egg, caramelised apple, crispy bacon, lardons and some croutons. So enjoy this recipe and happy cooking. Thank you so much.